backing up and restoring a mysql database so in this tutorial i will show you how you can take the backup of a mysql database and restore so basically there are two ways to take the backup one is copy the raw mysql database file and second is exporting the tables to the text file exporting the tables to a text file or in the sql format or a second option is uh, good and it is uh, followed in the industry but method one is sometimes useful when you you want to take the backup and restore it on the mysql server having the same version and the platform so if you have uh, same version and same platform then you can copy the mysql database files and then restore it on another computer but this is not the industry standard and you should not follow this step so second step is in the industry standard and uh, you can always use it for taking up the mysql backup and restoring it onto the another mysql server so for this second option for exporting the tables into the sql file uh, which is a text file you can use the mysql dump so the syntax is like this mysql dump minus u the username minus p the password and the database name and the greater than sign and backup dot sql data and the table structure will be copied to the backup dot sql in the sql format so let's try So I will use the mysql dump tool to see how uh, what all database I have. So I have these databases so I will uh, copy this student database and then restore. So I can write minus root minus p is the password and then the table name is student and greater than sign stutnt dot sql so it is quoted the student dot xml file and which is 2920 kilobytes so this is the sql and to restore we can connect to the mysql admin and then create a table so to restore you can use the mysql command so create database test restore so test restore is created another one option is to connect to the test restore and then source so we can use the source and then sql name so it will read all the sql statements from the student.xml and execute against the database another option is mysql minus u root minus p root and then the test restore and the sql name dot sql now it is uh, imported the data from the student.xql into the test restore database so we can connect to the so these are the tables and uh, select a strict from student from so these are the data so this way you can uh, take the backup of mysql data and restore it on a different database or the different mysql server thanks for watching the video we have thousands of tutorials on our website you can learn from these tutorials also subscribe our channel